God. He will be starting soon. Oh, oh, oh. story time with Mr. Lamada. Where all your dreams come true. Oh, oh, oh. He brings to life your favorite stories with a great big smile. You won't leave lonely. Won't you start all the reading? I just can't wait to be hearing story time with Mr. Lamada. He will be starting soon. Oh, story time with Mr. Lamada. Where all your dreams come true. Oh, he brings to life your favorite stories with a great big smile. You won't leave lonely. Won't you start all the reading? I just can't wait to be hearing. This week has been the Chronicle Books week for sure, and this time we bring this one back, and it says we became Jaguars, and this one is written by Dave Beggars and Woodrow White. Thank you so much for joining in. I hope that you are ready for this one. I hope that you are ready. You close out every you ready to go on this journey this morning. Thank you so much for joining in, and welcome to Story Time. Yes, this one is a celebration of imagination, and I love it. And I bet you, if you've not seen this before, you will love it. And if you don't remember it, well, we're here to remind you. Thank you so much for joining in Story Time, and welcome. We became Jaguars. Dave Beggars and Woodrow White, and of course being read with permission of the publishers, Chronicle Books of San Francisco. Thank you, thank you indeed to them and many other creators out there that have allowed us to share such amazing books here on Storytime. Thank you indeed for being here and welcome. And you know, um, this week I've been, um, as I've been, you know, looking at Dave Beggars and just uh, books that was coming, it always takes me back to one of my favorites, and this one is called Watch. Get a citizen to, so if you've not checked out this one, please do I encourage you to I implore you to find it and check it out and enjoy it. And of course, you can always find it on our storytime archives as well. But find it at your local library, check for it at your local bookstore. Thank you so much for being here and welcome. Um, please let us know where you are and who is here with us. Remember, you can catch story time live at 7 a.m. Pacific time, right here on Facebook and um YouTube, and of course, you can catch us. Uh, at storytimewithmrlimada.com and of course at your own convenience anytime in our archives. Thank you so much for joining in today. Welcome to Storytime. We became Jaguars and coming up very, very shortly. But before then, of course, we'll be checking to see who is with us. But I also, um, uh, I received a box recently from Chronicle Books and um, this was in there and I thought it was the best book. Yes, did I say book? Yes. The best Story book, and if you look at that, and hopefully we'll be reading it sometime soon. But look at that, Where all your dreams come true. so cool! I bought, and um, yeah, and you can, you know, I feel like this was the perfect gift for all those babies and little ones that we know. And it is all oh, so sweet, so soft. But yeah, that came in. I was like, oh my goodness, I love this so so much. So I thought I should share that with you today. But before then, for our story for this morning, let us see. 
who is with us ready to enjoy our wonderful story. Thank you so much for joining in today on Story Time. Good morning to you, Raylan, Chad, and Auntie Pam out in Natishash, Louisiana, reporting our garden is looking lush but no fruit yet fingers crossed well fingers crossed for you and cannot wait to hear about all those juicy delicious fruits that you'll be getting from there thank you so much for joining in story time thank you for that report thank you for that update and indeed thank you for being here with us on story time hugs to you yes farmers out there braylon chad and auntie Pam, welcome to story time thank you so much for being here a big good morning to you. Good morning to you as well, Sarah and Nathan. Yes, in bright and blue Illinois, sending you love. Thank you so much for joining in story time. Absolutely appreciate you. Hugs, hugs, hugs. And thank you, thank you for being here on story time. And all the way out in Zambia, how are you doing today? Thank you so much for joining in. Absolutely appreciate you. Good to see you. And thank you for being here with us on story time. Welcome, welcome. And just remind us too, if you're here in California and all the other areas that are affected with this heat wave, please, please remember to hydrate, remember to take your hand with you when you're going outside, remember to do all the little things that are important in keeping us a little safer out there. Thank you so much for joining in story time. Hydrate, hydrate. And that's been the order of the day here. As you can see here too, I have my iced tea to keep me cool while we're reading but thank you so much for joining in story time absolutely appreciate you and cannot wait for something good from the garden out in Nakitosh, Louisiana thank you so much for joining in story time we do have a wonderful book coming up we became Jaguars this one from Day Vegas and Woodrow White coming up very very shortly thank you so much for joining in story time today I hope that you enjoy this one and um We'll be right back after this short break. Go, go, go. Grab your snacks, grab everything that you need, and come back for a story. Yes, indeed. We are ready for this journey. We became Jaguars coming out very, very shortly. Thank you so much for being here on Story Time. Absolutely appreciate you. And uh, yes, we'll see you on the other side of this very short break. How are you doing? This is Jonathan Marshall. I'm author of the books. I'll be right there. Does it rain food? And also on the way, me and my kazoo at the zoo. And you're here with Storytime with Mr. Lamata. Thank you, Dean, and welcome back to Storytime. Absolutely appreciate you, Jonathan Marshall, for all the amazing work that you put out bringing it to us here on Storytime, as well as, you know, if you look at jonathanmarshall.com, you'll be able to find some of those amazing books. And of course, wherever else you find books, does it rain food is one of my favorites for sure. But today we're reading this one. We became Jaguars. This one coming to you from Dave Eggers and uh, Woodrow White and, of course, Chronicle Books of San Francisco. Are you ready? All right, here we go. <laughs> Let's squeeze in one message. Let's see who is with, with us here. <laughs> awesome. I love it. I love it. Please get it, get it, and let us read together. Thank you. Just realize that we have that book on our bookshelf. Yes, yes, yes. Bring it down. Let's follow along. Thank you so much. <laughs> Love it. All right, here we go. We became Jaguars. Dave Eggers and Woodrow White. And of course, being read with permission of the publishers, Chronicle Books of San Francisco. My grandmother came to visit. Ah, oh, some of the best times, aren't they? <laughs> I had met her once before. She lived far away. Her hair was very white and very, very long. <laughs> Good morning, Soraya. <laughs> My grandmother came to visit. I had met her once before. She lived far away. Her hair was very white and very, very long. <laughs> How does your grandmother look like? How did your grandmother look like? <laughs> My parents went out and left us alone. <laughs> 
date night. My parents went out and left us alone. <laughs> Grandmother got on the carpet and growled. <laughs> Let's be jaguars, she said. That sounds like fun. <laughs> I made the shape of a jaguar. No, Lena, she said. I sucked in my tummy. Good, she said. Now faster, she said. I tried to look faster. Now fiercer, she said. I lifted my hands and made them close. <laughs> Good, she said. Now we go. <laughs> and now we go. <laughs> we went into the night as jaguars. Oh. We went into the night as jaguars. But guess what? There is more. We went across the front lawn and into the woods at the end of the cul-de-sac. I had been in those woods many times, but I'd never been through them. I had been in those woods many times, but I'd never been through them. Today is the day. And look at that. As jaguars, we went through. Oh, let me see if I can hold these pages open. Yay, look at that. Yes. I had been to those woods many times, but I had never been through them. As jaguars, we went through. Oh. <laughs> what brave jaguars you are. Yes. <laughs> This is another cool spread. In the woods, we leaped into trees and scared away squirrels and birds. Don't worry, my grandmother said to them. We won't eat you. You're too small and too gamey. <laughs> she laughed like great thunder and I laughed like lesser thunder and we jaguared on. <laughs> Can you laugh like a jaguar? How do you imagine a jaguar sounds like? Oh, like thunder. <laughs> How did I do? <laughs> In the woods, we leaped into trees and scared away squirrels and birds. Don't worry, grandmother said to them. We won't eat you. You're too small and too gamey. <laughs> she laughed like great thunder, and I laughed like lesser thunder, and we jangled on. <laughs> but when we came upon a rabbit, my grandmother caught it and ate it and offered me some. I didn't want to eat raw rabbit, so I said I was allergic. <laughs> My grandmother rolled her jaguar eyes and we jaguared on. <laughs> My grandmother rolled her jaguar eyes and we jaguared on. <laughs> After the woods, there was a high hill and we took it like it was nothing. What brave and strong jaguars you are. After the woods, there was a high hill and we took it like it was nothing at all. <laughs> Do you have a hill in your neighborhood? How fast can you run up it? <laughs> or how quickly can you go up it? We took it like it was nothing at all. <laughs>
At the top of the hill, we saw most of the world. We did not howl because jaguars do not howl. Jaguars, jaguar. So we jaguared on. <laughs> oh, at the top of the hill, we saw most of the world. We did not howl because jaguars don't howl. Jaguars, jaguar. So we jaguared on. <laughs> oh, yes. Below the hill, there was a lake, and we went to it and drank from it. Oh. <laughs> It looked like silver and it looked like silver and tasted like moonlight. Mmm, that's divine, my grandmother said. <laughs> oh, it looked like silver and tasted like the moonlight. Mmm, that's divine, my grandmother said. <laughs> Mmm, that's divine, I said, too, because it was. <laughs> oh, yes, indeed. Let's run across this lake, she said. Won't we fall in, I said. Not if we're nimble, she said. So she ran nimbly and ran, and I ran nimbly. <laughs> Let's run across this lake, she said. Won't we fall in, I asked. Not if we're nimble, she said. So she ran nimbly and I ran nimbly. <laughs> and we bounced across the marble. Well, and we bounced across like marbles on glass. Oh, so fast. Let's run across that lake, she said. Won't we fall in, I asked. Not if we're nimble, she said. So she ran nimbly and I ran nimbly. And we bounced across like marbles on glass. Wow. <laughs> On the other side of the lake, we lay down and we rested. Oh. It has been a hard journey, hasn't it? After a few minutes, she said, let's run some more. And we ran up a ridge and over a mountain and across an ocean. And I kept running and kept running. Yes. <laughs> After a few minutes, she said, let's run some more. And we ran up a ridge and over a mountain and across an ocean and kept running. <laughs> Are you tired? Do you need a drink? Oh, yes. Remember that beautiful water fountain that tasted like moonlight and looked like silver. <laughs> Oh. We were somewhere in the Himalayas when I remembered that I had school. Oh, I should go back pretty soon, I said. My grandmother looked at me for a while through her golden jaguar eyes. If you say so, she said. Oh, you have to get back quickly. You're so far away. <laughs> We were somewhere in the Himalayas when I remembered that I had school. I should go back pretty soon. My grandmother looked at me for a while through her golden jaguar eyes. And she said, if you say so, let's go. <laughs> let's go on back. We ran back quickly and fiercely and nimbly. Who knew how much school I had missed? <sighs> Whoa. How fast is that? We ran back quickly and fiercely and nimbly. Who knew 
home at school I had missed, but it was okay. <laughs> and why was it okay? Oh. <laughs> but it was okay. My grandmother wrote me a note. And you know what? It was fun. <laughs> yes. And that is the end. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining in story time. I hope you enjoyed being Jaguars today. And of course, um, this one coming to you from Day Beggars and Woodrow White. And if you know Day Beggars, you know this story so much. Uh, in uh, very much in Dave Egger's fashion. Thank you so much for joining in Storytime today. I am so glad that we were here together. Join me after this short break on the other side. Thank you for being here with us on Storytime today. Absolutely appreciate you. <laughs> Hello, I'm Olalu Ogunyemi, officer in the United States Marine Corps and author of Crow from the Shadow. You are tuned in with my brother on Storytime with Mr. Lamada. Enjoy and God bless. Welcome back. Thank you indeed. Ola Olu Ogunyemi. And remember, he has his latest book out, and that is called Billy Dipper's Time to Shine. And I love it. And I'm I'm sure you do too. Thank you so much for joining in Story Time. This has been our book for today. We became Jaguars. And this one is from Dave Eggers and Woodrow White. And of course, Chronicle Books of San Francisco. A beautiful book indeed. And um, yeah, just uh, one that really encourages imagination and exploration and i hope that the, your day today is full of creativity and full of ideas full of um just full of adventure thank you so much for joining in story time and thank you thank you for being here and being a part of this wonderful community that we have here that is story time thank you so much for joining in tomorrow we get silly it is friday we get silly do adults get silly? Well, we'll find out tomorrow because this one says grown-ups never do that. So join in tomorrow and find out what David Kali and Benjamin Toad have for us. Thank you so much for joining in Storytime. I'm excited for this one tomorrow. I'm excited that we were here together spending time together. And um, yeah, remember, we'll be bringing this book sometime soon. My friend today, very soft, very cuddly, a wonderful book indeed, a good gift for all our friends out there. Thank you so much for joining in Storytime. I hope you enjoyed it. I absolutely did. And of course, um, we keep we keep on working, keep on bringing those wonderful stories here. And I do have all those recommendations that people have sent me. And trust me, we're working to bring them here to Storytime. So very soon, you might be seeing one of your favorite stories right here on Storytime. Thank you for introducing me to all those amazing books. It's amazing every time I get recommendations for like, oh, I've never seen this one before. And so it's always great. Thank you so much for joining in today. And thank you for sharing your love for reading with us here on Storytime. And remember, we're back tomorrow when we will be talking. <laughs> Grown-ups never do that. Yes. So join in and find out if this is true. <laughs> Thank you indeed for being here. Absolutely appreciate you. And, um, to everybody that is joining in, thank you wherever you are. Remember to always leave us a message so we can say hi to you indeed. And um, yeah, just hope that you have a lovely day. I know that as we listen to the news, there's so much that is happening. I just saw in the news earlier today, there was um, um, something that happened in, in Memphis. So we keep, uh, we keep, we keep um, our, our friends uh, um, in, in our hearts and of course um, send love and well wishes. And um, yeah, just um, always wishing for the very best for uh, everybody out there. Thank you so much for joining in Storytime today. Absolutely appreciate you. I'm glad we could go on this journey, just read, enjoy, and also just get lost in the wilderness. We were in the Himalayas. We were out somewhere in the woods. We were out somewhere overlooking in a beautiful vista. That's what books can do. They take us to places that we never thought we could be. Thank you so much for being here with us on Storytime. Absolutely love it. Wow, so much adventure, so much imagination. Indeed, I love it. I love it. Thank you, Pamela Courtney. Thank you, Braylon and Chad. I love it. And I hope that your day today is full of that, full of adventure, full of imagination, full of creativity. Thank you so much for joining in here on Storytime. The boys asked us, Mr. Lamada, no, 
any books about a sloth? Ooh, don't ask me where that question came from. <laughs> yes, I do. Of course, of course, the one that comes to mind right now is um, uh, the uh, Eric Carle one. Slowly, slowly, sloth something. I will send you the um, uh, the ones I have, and then I have uh, one actually that um, I bought while traveling in Costa Rica, and it is about sloth. And um, I'll definitely share that title with you, and I'll see if we're able to get it over on this side. But um, yes, so yes, yes, I do, and I will share them with you, Pamela Courtney, so we can explore. And why sloth? You say, don't ask me where that question came from, but I'm curious. I want to know why sloth. Why that question? <laughs> I cannot wait. Hopefully some good research out there and uh, cannot wait to hear what you come up with. Thank you so much for joining in Storytime. Absolutely love it. And, um, you know, when you say slots, you just take me back to Zootopia again. And so I'm just, um, um, yeah, just thinking about that and um, the, the famous clip. And also, you know, as we were reading, there's a word that um, nimbo in there. And every time I hear the word nimbo, it takes me to the song, um, American Pie, and it's just like, because there's that line in there that talks about being nimble. So as I was reading that book, that song was in my head, and I was trying not to sing it while we were reading. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here with me on Storytime. I am glad we're here. Please have yourselves a wonderful Thursday wherever you are, and you tell your friends about Storytime. Let them know they can join in, they can get enjoy reading books with us and of course send us their recommendations as well and of course it is always a pleasure having you here hugs 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 whatever you do today i hope that you enjoy it to the max thank you so much for joining in i wonder if it's because of the forest jungle the characters adventure oh yes yes you know that's the way the mind works right there's so much like little bits that connect and they lead us into so many different directions love books for that for what they can do thank you thank you thank you and um, i will be sending you those titles later on for sure thank you so much for joining in story time it is always a pleasure being here with you all it is my happy place thank you thank you indeed for being here and i will see you again tomorrow for more story time hugs 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 and please enjoy yourselves have yourself a wonderful day and kids out there remember you kids so go out there and be kids enjoy have fun but remember too that if you're in california please hydrate if you're in places affected by the heat wave hydrate make sure that you have your sunscreen on make sure that you have all the protective gear that is needed and um probably don't stay out too long as well in the sun please and look out for those symptoms of um heat stroke you know um dizziness everything else that comes with that if you're not feeling too great please tell an adult i'm not feeling too well and um we can look into uh what it could be right so thank you so much for joining in story time absolutely appreciate each and every one of you and i will see you again tomorrow for more story time bye-bye <laughs> Some stories from far away, others right here in my neighborhood. Story time. Oh. Story time. Story time with Mr. Lamada. He will be starting soon. Story time with Mr. Lumada, where all your dreams come true. Oh, oh, oh. He brings to life your favorite stories with a great big smile. You won't live lonely, won't you start all the reading? We just can't wait to be in. Brings to life your favorite stories with a great big smile. You want me lonely, won't you stop? All the reading, we just can't wait to be hearing.